Good morning, guys. Welcome back to some more Enshrouded. Today, we are going to work on the Carpenter's Living Quarters. See, I've put a little uh, Firefly lamp in there. Quite like that. Looks pretty. Now, I was just looking at this this morning, and I think I am going to put a window in just up here. Something to break this wall up a little bit, so... I think we're going to go with it sort of there. Now I've got a window made already. Where is it? There it is. Hopefully I can put that in. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? It just breaks that up. Now I need to make four to go along the back, don't I? Just along the back there. I might actually raise that up, you know. I was looking at it and thinking might look better slightly higher let's just have a look at that i'm always tinkering it's not really for looking out of this window it's for sort of letting in a bit of daylight for the workshop and letting some air flow the dust yeah i think that probably looks a bit better right let's have a look see if i've got any mats to make these all windows. I'm not sure if I have. Oh, overflew that, didn't I? Not sure if I've got enough, if I'm completely honest. Where's the windows? There we go. I want four of these, don't I? Ow! Bugger, I've got enough three. Right, quickly. I find I do this a lot. <laughs> you can travel proper quickly when you do that. Especially if I spam the space bar. So I can do the uh, the updraft skill now. This is going to be the wrong wood, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right, let me go get some of that wood from somewhere. Right, fortunately there was a uh, dead tree right next to that one, so uh, it didn't take too long to find some wood. Let's get these windows put in along the back here. Beautiful. Now we can start working on this living quarters. Now what I was looking at is having some sort of entrance that's slightly out. So you notice how this one goes in slightly. It's got those steps that lead up. I quite like one that um, is out but with a couple of steps that go in and up. Not sure how I'm going to do that but... Um, have a little play around, I suppose. I'm probably going to need some blocks, aren't I? So, we are going to need this half-timbered block, the refined wood block, and the... Where are you? The roughly cut stone block for the base. The lower... Water, whatever you want to call it. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. So I think... What have I done there? What I think I will do is come one along. From each side. Is that as further back, isn't it? So from there. And then I think I'll come another one in. Now, wherever the door's going to be, it's going to be four wide, isn't it? So, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to want to come out. This, this may work, guys. This may work, right? This may work. would be in the middle there. It's going to work, isn't it? How have I managed to put that other wall ski with, though? Okay, yeah, that'll do. So now the 
Ground floor will be here. I'm enjoying that. So I'm going to want wood flooring. Let's put snapping on. Hopefully that will help. Of course, I put it in the wrong place. Because <laughs> why wouldn't I? Right, there we go. That's that done. So this is going to come all the way to there. Is that right? Or is that over? No, that's overhanging. When does that need to come out? Is it two or three? Just doing that to help me to help me line it up. I'll just come round all the way along the back. Oh, hello, truffles. You're in the way, mate. Trying to trying to build over here. Thank you. I think he was trying to help me. What's he doing? He's a loony. He just runs around all over the place. in chunk for a while. Ruffles keep reappearing every now and again. Here he goes, off up the hill. Yeah, so for those of you that uh, perhaps haven't been here before, that uh, creature keeps on coming in to the town just wandering around. <laughs> I keep finding him in like the basements and stuff. Um, so decided to name him Truffles. Because he shuffles along. And uh, I used to love the Goonies as a kid. So Truffle Shuffle. And then there's another one that appeared. A second one. Uh, which I asked the uh, subscribers. Or people that are watching the videos. To uh, name for me. And they said I should name the other one Chunk. Because that's the name of the character in the Goonies. That does the Truffle Shuffle. Well I'm probably telling you something you already know. So. Forgive me. Right, let's get this floor done. I'm really doing this the long way, aren't I? I've just realised this because I'm away with the fairies chatting truffles and the goonies. There we go. Beautiful. So that's going to be the ground floor. We're going to have this as the entrance. What, what have I done here? That's not ideal at all. Now, now we're done. Awesome. So that... Oh wait, I've done that wrong, haven't I? I've come one too far. Because the wall would be there. Good lord. Sometimes I do wonder. Because that will go there. Nope. Not go there. Turn that snapping off. That will go... There, like that. Oh no, wait, that'll, that'll be fine. It doesn't matter too much. I suppose I could have saved a wood block or two, but... It oh, actually, no, I'm going to have to remove that. Damn it. Otherwise you're going to be able to see it from the outside, aren't you? Oh well, it's not the end of the world. Not yet, anyway. Right, um, so I'm going to need to strip that out. Let's keep bloody balls. Oh no, what is going on here? Mind you, you're not going to be able to see it, are you? Because the what's name wall will be there. Let's just put that back. Because the half timbered blocks will be on top of that, so you won't be able to see it anyway. You'll be able to see this though, so this I do have to strip out, because you can see it from the outside.
Try and do this as quickly as possible. Sometimes I find just staring straight down at like a, I don't know, the barrel of a gun, I suppose. And they just spam in the button on it. So. Right, that is almost done. Now we can start putting the little walls in. Do love that. Oh, that reminds me, just quickly, I made some extra windows earlier to put in the back and upstairs. Let me just pop those in quickly. There we go. And then I'll put a couple in upstairs. Still need, what do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still need eight more. God. Close this door. Don't want a draft getting in there, do we? Right, okay, so. I need a doorway. So that's going to be... Uh-oh. Wait, what? There? Yeah, that's right. Why did I think that was wrong? Now then. That does not look like that's going to look right. That does not look right. I will have to remove that bit. Uh oh. Yeah, that doesn't look right still. Let's remove those corner bits. That one. Yeah, they're all going to need to be removed. Okay. Deal with each thing as it comes, really. It's not going to be too much bother. Because I will have a wall coming along and down, and then another wall on top of that. So let's get those walls in. Let me just have a look at this for a second. I may actually use that wall. Yes, I'm going to use that wall. So I'm going to come into that wall. So there, like that. Yeah. Let's fill that in. Yeah, that looks right. The ground floor is in. Um... I'm going to put some windows in, I think, on the front here. Put a big one on this side. And a little one this side. Love that. Um, I think I might put a couple on the back. I think I'm putting a back door on this one. I don't have any back doors on the other ones. I'm not really sure that I need one, to be honest. Uh, I was thinking of maybe having a back door, some stairs that come down to a garden here. I may do that later, I don't know yet. I'm thinking I'm going to put the stairs on the side this time, going up that way. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I think I'm going to use the refined wood for that now. Snapping is best for stairs, I'm finding, because it kind of helps you with where the floor is going to be on the next level. So it always works out, he says. And that's not worked out at all. Oh, I just fell out the window. Brilliant. 
Uh, so I think it's there and there then? Or is that exactly the same? No, that's better. Those bottom ones didn't go in ideally, did they? They need to come out just one more. Oh, do you know what? I'll just put it on as individuals. There we go. One, two, three, four. Now I'm hoping that hasn't gone through to the shop because that would be very annoying. It hasn't. That's fantastic. However, that ceiling I'm just noticing does not, the wall doesn't hit the, uh, the roof. So let's just bring that up one more level. It's funny how sometimes your eye doesn't pick these things up initially. I mean, maybe you guys saw it in the video um, yesterday and thought, oh, he's missed a bit there. But sometimes I'm missing these things and then coming back to them later and finding them. There was one uh, on the chimney on the church on the other build. There was just one single block. As I watched my video back, I uh, realised that I'd missed, missed the block. Anyway, that's corrected now. So let's get this second floor started. It's going to need to go on. Mm. Oh, that is the wrong. That's what we want. Yeah, then. Put that along the back wall. Nice. Now, hopefully, the big ones will fill the rest in. Maybe too close to the stairs. I'll find out in a minute, I suppose. Oh, that's actually in. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely too close to the stairs. So let's knock that back. It's better. And then that can come along. And then we can fill the gap in. Beautiful. Awesome. Let's get this second floor wall on then, shall we? I find building very therapeutic on this game. It really helps to calm the mind. And it requires sufficient concentration to quiet the mind as well. That's why I'm enjoying building so much on this, I think. Well, I love that a lot. That's um, pretty... It's, a, it's a quite a cosy little place, this. Um, what's it looking like from this side? Definitely needs some windows on that top floor. So that is coming along nicely, I think. Get that roof put on. I think I'll come down at the same... The same angle as that roof, I think I'll come down. Might go sideways, actually. In fact, I think it might be more pleasing on the eye if I go that way. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Okay, I've just decided. So let's get some windows put in then. So we're going to want them the same distance. It's going to be one, two away. So one, two away, and then I think we'll do a big window again, just as it matches up with downstairs. I find that that's more pleasing on the eye when you kind of make it um, even like that. Maybe there's a more, I think I'll go with a window above the door and then a smaller one. I might make that window bigger, actually. Does that look better? Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. So that will be two from that side as well, won't it? One, two, yeah. So, two. I think what I'm going to do on this floor, though, is have two of those bigger windows. 
Let's just see what that looks like from the outside. Yeah, I like that. I think what I'm going to do, though, on this one, it's looking a bit plain through the middle here. So what I might do is the same thing that I've done with that build over there, just put that beam trim around the outside. Just to break that up, let's see what that looks like. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to reach that up here from down here. In fact, if I just jump on that, it should be alright, shouldn't it? So, right, where's the height? It's, what's it, two above the window. So we got, oh no, it's not going to let me, is it? Oh, yep, yeah, oh, yep. Yeah. What's that? So that's one. So that's one, two, and then the beam. out too far oh no it's not out too far it's out exactly the right amount actually oh cool. yeah I think that's probably going to be worth doing all the way around I may just do it like this actually because it's going to be quicker Rather than jumping around all over the place and trying to climb, oh, trying to climb up building blocks to jump around on and stand on. Yikes. Let's see if I can reach them beams up there. I don't think it's going to let me from this height. Mmm, so frustrating. I don't get why you can do like a, a such a great distance on the single block and then you can't like put the beams up there. The amount of times that I place stuff wrong. Incredible. Sometimes it's easier to move than it is to aim the cursor. <laughs> Except for when there's a plant in the way. Right, let's get back up on that roof. Um, am I going to be able to from down here? Aha! Trixie. Uh, that's not ideal, the way that roof's just adjusted itself. You pain in the butt. Yeah, well, we'll just leave that. Right, that's the trim done. That breaks it up, doesn't it? It looks less plain. I like that a lot. Now let's get this roof looked at. Roof is finally on and sorted. That took me quite a while. I decided that I'm going to go for an all the way around roof this time rather than the kind of same as the blacksmith. Uh, just uh, looks a little bit different to his build. I'm also thinking I'm going to add on just another level along the corner there just as it overhangs more. It might look slightly better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now if I can. I'm going to have to build some uh, nerd pole so we get up and access this roof. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Hmm. It's going to be a little bit... Oh no, it's easier than I thought it would be. I'll do all of this level first. And then I can move down. Uh, there? Yep. Nope. I think that's it. Yep. Um, what's going on here? I put one on too many. Of 
cool. Let's have a look at what that looks like from the ground. I think it's going to make the uh, the wood stand out less. Yeah, I prefer that. That's better. Let's just have a look at the back. Oh, the back was already overhanging. That's good. Okay. Well, that's that fixed then. So that's the roof done on the carpenters. I think I might summon him up here now and get some of his furniture in. I do need to put some more windows on though. Um, definitely need some back windows, don't we? Let's back. Let's do that before we start summoning him up here. His house isn't finished yet, is it? So one, two. We'll go with two big windows on the back, like we've gone for on the front. I do like punishing myself with these um, windows. <laughs> Knowing full well that I am now going to have to uh, get all of these iron windows. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll go with a big one just in the middle on the side there, I think. And then that's the upstairs done. It's quite small, isn't it? I guess the carpenter doesn't need as much room as the, the other guys. He prefers his modest home. Maybe I will go with a door in the back there. One, two, three, four. Have a back garden. Just because his home's a bit smaller. I'll have a think about that. It's pretty much done now, guys. I think I'm going to get him summoned up here. Get his uh, equipment put in. Alright, let's get him summoned up here. Cade Hawthorne. And then where should we put him? Let's put him in his actual workshop. Let's put him there. Right, where's your sawmill going to go, Woody? Let's put the sawmill in the middle. Sort of there. Let's put his tools next to it. And then I think we'll put the kiln in the corner. What's it look like on the back? It's close on the back. Cool. So let's put the kiln on the corner like that. Looking good, looking good. Uh, that's him done. Now I need to get front door built. And um, some windows for his house, furniture, and a front door. Let's see if I can do that now, actually. So front door. Oh, I can't yet. Well, I want that one. I want that one. So we need some nails. The blacksmith's got those, doesn't he? Let's get some nails made. Got plenty of mats for them. There we go. Let's make Woody a door, a couple of doors. In fact, I might put a wooden one on his house and start one on his shop. Let's have a look. Stone one. Wooden one. So what the wooden one looks like on his main house. Or, I, you know, I could place it in the wrong place. That would be a good start. I feel like the wooden one's going to suit that better. Yeah. And then we'll go with the stone one on his workshop. There's the f frame. Love that. Pretty happy with that, you know. I am toying around with this back garden. I'm not sure whether to do it or not. I think we'll have to have another think about that. Maybe I'll do that another day. But for now, I think I'm going to end the video here. We've got the carpenter's house fully up and running. That's going to make things easier with, uh, instead of teleporting backwards and forwards to, to make stuff. I think we'll get on with the windows next and then uh, that house will be completely finished. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Till then.
Good night.